Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today for something really weird, I'm going to be honest, but also very cool and what I hope is going to be really useful to you. And hopefully at first as well. I am sitting here today with three top of the range HOTAS systems. And I've, as you can see, it's a bit of a Frankenstein, but it does actually work. Down here is Wing Wing Super Libra stick system. Over here, Wing Wing Super Taurus uh, throttle system with starter panel. Okay, that's one HOTAS. Next HOTAS, brand new and incredibly exciting Wing Wing Orion. We've got throttle here. So this is a more uh, standard HOTAS system and we've done a full review and in-depth look at this in another video and I'll link that in the video description if you want to go and look at that. Okay, so kindly did that for us. There's a the throttle. And here is the stick for the Orion. It's FA18C again, like the Super Taurus and Super Libra. And finally, we have the good old uh, Thrustmaster Warthog, the A10C version. You can see what stick here. I'm sure most of you have seen pictures of this. And we've got the throttle there. So the mission today is we're going to go through and compare the new Wing Wing Orion Hotas to the older Thrustmaster A10C Hotas and in some respects, the Thrustmaster FA-18 Thrustmaster. Guys, we've got here today, Wing Wing very kindly sent us out four times samples of the Orion. To myself, to Kelso, who did the official GR review, to Chopsticks, and to Skill. The reason myself, Chopsticks, and Skill got a version was because we also have access to and have used for a long time the Warthog system. So you see I've got the uh, A10C Warthog system here. No, I haven't actually used it for a long time, but I know quite a lot about it. Uh, Chopsticks has got the A10C Warthog system and Skill, and has used it for a long time, and Skill has got the A10C and the FA18 Thrustmaster system in front of him as well. So we can do direct comparison, talk about it all live, nothing scripted, just see what we actually think about these things. So this is going to be discussion format. You know, feel free to talk over each other, but try and keep it civilized. Orion, let's just talk about the absolute basics. Wing Wing Orion, everything you can see on the outside, the main assemblies, metal base main assembly on the outside, and we've got metal stick assembly. It's, uh, I believe it's a type of aluminium we've got there. Throttle aside, we've got metal outer casing here, and we've got metal in terms of this, uh, uh, this handle here. Uh, the buttons are going to be a mix of metals and plastics depending on which one. Over to the Warthog A10C, exactly the same. Metal outside of base, metal outside of stick. Buttons are a mixture of metal and plastic, again, depending on which they are. The throttle, metal base, the out casing, and metal uh, throttle handle and lever here, and metal and plastic for the different switches. Internals, we differ. We've got on the wing wing, Aluminium internals. Now I can't tell you exactly how that works, and Kelso explains more in his video. But generally speaking, it's aluminium in the in the core workings, whereas the Thrustmaster plastic. So that's our first major difference there. Yeah, the major difference on the stick for the Warthog is it is a uh, plastic compression fittings. On the Orion side, we're looking at aluminum roller cams and a polished surfaces with uh, hall sensors where nothing is touching. There's no physical contact between the hall sensors and the actual metal control surfaces inside. Roger, I stand corrected. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to talk about sizes and the relevance is debatable here because that's FA18C. This is A10C, but just humor me for fun. The height is almost identical here in terms of throttle lever here on the A10C and the wing wing F18. The movement in terms of range, to me, as far as I can feel, it feels about the same, but Kelso and Skill have actually been to measure it. And am I right in saying that Wing Wing is a few millimetres more travel? Is that right? I've not measured it. I think Kelso has measured it. I've just gone by feel, having them side by side. I think the Wing Wing feels like it moves a few mil more. Actually, Wing Wing's got it in their manual, the tr distance travel, and it's just, just a tad more. In terms of the actual movement of the throttle levers, uh, I mean, both feel fine in terms of, you know, there's no clunkiness on either of them. The quality is good. You can adjust the friction in the Warthog, but you have to do them together, I believe. There's only kind of one friction adjuster. Slight advantage on the wing wing here, we can adjust left or right separately. So you can have one uh, heavy and you can have one loose. For mine, I've done both of mine loose. That's just how I like them. Look, they fall down like that. It's because I've turned the friction off, basically. The boys, they like it heavy and they've got theirs you know, up like that. So that's a difference. Also, detents, if my memory serves me correctly, we, uh, Warthog has a detent south as standard. So if I pull that up, it goes into a detent like that. 
and I believe I can also change that so that I can have the detent at the top as an afterburner so you can have either or wing wing slightly different you've got a standard detent front there you can see you push it into it like that so it's different so there's no pull up uh, it's just push and detent uh, for idle they have an inner innovative uh, captured spring-backed ball bearing with protrusions on the, th the back of the throttle if you see the little bits that have a uh, little discoloring mm -hmm. this is brand new engineered so you don't have to lift up you don't have to either lift up the whole thing you don't have finger lifts it'll just push right through as it rolls through the, that uh, spring ball bearing roger uh, yeah i prefer it without the lift up as well but Okay, very good. Next, let's look at the uh, the bases. We're not going to go over every switch and dial because Kelsey's done that and we're just it's just a waste of time for this video. What we're going to do is have a quick breeze over. So, in terms of controls on the base, we've got 12 working controls, uh, you know, switches and, and, di and dials and stuff on the base of the Warthog. Uh, that's excluding this here friction thing, which is literally a friction thing for, the, for, the, for this. It doesn't actually uh, operate in game, should we say. We've got 20 on the wing wing here. Uh, that, that function in game a very quick breakdown uh, we've got one slider metal slider wa warthog we've got two metal sliders wing wing rotaries we've got zero uh, thrustmaster rotaries that are pushable so we can turn them and push them one two three four and uh, fifth is multi uh, positional if you like and pushable in terms of kind of one position switches that are just you know like that we've got one two three and we've also got these two here, air to ground and air to air, which will light up if set up correctly on Simap Pro. So you've five of them on Warthog 1, 2, and that's it. In terms of iron switches, they're either up, down, or up, down, and middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on Wing Wing. And remember, you've got the three position uh, flaps uh, guy here on Warthog. So 12 versus 20. Next, on to the actual throttle grips. First thing, first thing important to say, I guess, is that this throttle grip for the Orion is interchangeable for its big brother, which is here. This is the Super Taurus. It's basically exactly the same thing. So I could take this off here. I don't know why this would be useful, but it's interesting knowledge. That, and then we can go put it on the Taurus and it'll work fine. On to the actual buttons here. Again, Kelso's review has gone through every button and, and it's pointless repeating that exactly. I guess what I really wanted to, I mean, in terms of functionality, roughly speaking, you've got roughly about the same amount of kind of buttons and functionality on the head of this guy and the head of this guy. What I really want to point out is why I'm really getting on with my Super Taurus, and that is the actual feel of the buttons. And I want to try and say this as fairly as I can. So the various switches, for instance, you've got a TDC all direction there and depress here on the wing wing. You've got multiple positions uh, and depress feel very a solid there's no what's the word kind of looseness in them and they're fully spring loaded in that any movement you make on them is progressively spring loaded so tiny bit of movement not much force a lot of movement a lot of force needed so more solid in my opinion and progressively loaded better that's my opinion if i move over to the warhog now now, I haven't used this a lot, but I mean, there's one of the reasons I didn't use it was because this one here is a little bit wobbly. And this is not high mileage stick, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, although it's not new either. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. But there is some slight wobbliness in uh, multi position here and not the progressive force needed to push it forwards and backwards. Not as certainly as much, in my opinion. Uh, that's probably the best I can explain that. Do you guys have any bounce back on that or anything you want to add to that? I've been using my, the Warthog for nearly 10 years. I think it was Ju June 2011 I first got it. So obviously I like it. But I must say that the switches or the buttons and the switches on the Orion throttle certainly seem more tactile, better feeling. The one switch I had a problem with on the... Well, not a problem, but it felt always felt a bit cheaper on the Warthog was the pinky switch on the throttle. Whereas it felt a bit flimsy but certainly on the Orion it feels sturdy is the pinky switch the um kind of silver one on the edge or have i got that wrong yeah on the left hand throttle grip on the outside end of that yeah just having a play yeah i see what you mean 
Yeah, and that seems to be the theme throughout. It's just got more solidness to it. So, I mean, my my idea there was solidness and a yeah, a more kind of progressive feel. Anyone, anything, uh, any to add to that? On the wing wing, I like the ergonomics of the buttons. Roger. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's got. I mean, technically, I suppose that's more to do with the plane than you know. It's the design, isn't it? But definitely, I guess it's a slightly more modern design and more ergonomic. I find it slightly more awkward to get to these switches down here on the A10. I don't know if you guys find that. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it, but I have to kind of move the hand a lot more. Whereas on the uh, whereas on the at least the wing wing Orion, I'm doing a lot less movement. But yeah, okay. Are these, are these presumably these are direct replicas of the actual planes, right? Yeah, both both the uh, throttle handles and the stick on the uh, Orion are uh, exactly the same size. Yeah, okay. For the, for the real aircraft. Okay, so we're kind of comparing the aircraft here, but that's fine, guys. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for the throttle. Let's jump onto the stick next, guys. Again, obviously, if you're talking about ergonomics, you're talking about plane versus plane, more the more the make versus make. What we're more interested in is the the feel of the buttons, the feel of the you know internals, how they move and stuff like that. So let's jump right in. That said, I should quickly talk about height. Uh, so when you look at a stick here, you, what you're interested in really is height from the top of the stick to the fulcrum, which is the point where it pivots. Now I can't tell you exactly because I haven't taken this apart, but I'm going to guess about you know that right for wing wing. We move it over to Thrustmaster. Again, I haven't done a proper check, but you can see Fulcrum there, and I can already see that's probably about two inches this ish shorter. And if you want to really spice things up, then you go to, you know, you've got your Libra here, and that's nearly two feet. The uh, Fulcrum is right down there. And I, one thing I can tell you, it took me, a, don't get me wrong, it took me a long time to get used to two feet of Fulcrum on a Libra. But now I've started kind of messing with these again, you'll never go back. Yeah, I mean, I'm not slagging these off, they're great sticks, but you would never go back once you've got two feet of fulcrum. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, feel, most important thing, absolute number one reason why I didn't go for the Warthog. It's great and it was expensive and everyone wanted to me, me to use it over my old plasticky one what I had. The main problem is the feel of it. Okay, so this is how I describe it and it's very similar to the difference in the buttons between the wing wing and the Warthog buttons. Okay, so I take Orion a stick here and I'm going to move it around what you've got is a really which it's very smooth to begin with there's no what I'd feel kind of clunkiness that's the best way I can describe it but it's really progressive so around the middle here is almost no movement uh, sorry almost no pressure I have to apply if I go full over there as I go further over it progressively gets harder and harder to pull okay now I don't know if that's what the real stick looks like. I don't really care, to be honest, in the aircraft. But that's how this is. And that's what I like. Okay, It's exactly the same for this Libra here. The more I go over, the more harder I've got to put muscular into it. And the thing that's always bugged me about the Thrustmaster and the biggest change is, if I move it over to the side, and this may not be empirically correct, but it feels to me like I've got exactly the same amount of pressure to do a little tiny movement. Can you see how it clunks in the middle there? Like that. And it's the same amount of pressure, almost, to move it over there. And that's weird to not have that progressiveness. And also that clunk in the middle. Can you see that clunk? Look, look how it moves the desk in the middle there. Okay. Now, this technically is a tiny bit of desk movement, but it's nothing like the same. It's much smoother around the middle, more progressive around the outside. And that's why I could never get on with this. Even my X56 had a bit more progression in it. Now, a disclaimer, I haven't modified anything here this is all as it comes out of the box i'm aware you can do things to modify these but that's not really what we're here for today we're out of the box that's how it feels so in terms of stick feel guys again this is subjective you may not agree with me that's why i never got on with my warhog and that's why the well, to be honest both of the wing wing sticks i really like they feel almost identical in their aggressiveness and their smoothness that's the best i've got to describe it any punch back from you guys or other ideas? No, I would agree. The wind wing stick is just how you've described it. It's got nice progression to the pool. Uh, I'm used to flying with extension now. Obviously, I've not got an extension on the wind wing stick at the moment just to test it out the box and what have you, but uh, uh, even without an extension, I like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Nice and smooth. I can't see how you do really close formation with the walk, and I'm, I agree. I know you can because there's loads of people out, people out there doing it, but I just can't see how I can get that real close small movements and any punch back from chopsticks you're a seasoned user well i was fine with the warthog and i just got used to it you but do, now yeah. that i've used the wing wing it's so much better <laughs> and i'd completely agree you, 
Absolutely, you get used to anything. I got used to an X56, and I think I think it's a pretty good stick, to be honest. You know, it's completely different to these, but it's quite good. And you do get used to anything. But when you've got them here, almost no one in the world at this moment has this setup and the ability to uh, literally do this, uh, which is why this is important that we do this, because this is where you can feel the difference, right? Again, I could get used to the Warhog uh, pretty easily if I wanted, but now I've got them, I can compare them. Okay, guys, anything else on the feel of the basic movement of the stick? Okay, we're going to punch onto the buttons, guys, so the controls. For me, it's uh, there's two things that are important to me here. One, the feel of the buttons. Two, the function of the buttons. We'll do feel first. And to be honest, it goes back to the same thing I find on, 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 on the throttle. Warthog, I don't want to say feels cheap, because that's not fair and it's not true. It's, again, comparing it to the wing wing ones, they're just a little more clunky. They're a little more loose. Uh, and they're not as progressive. Okay, so we go over to Wing Wing here. Zero looseness. Again, you just have to kind of take my word for it. And a progressive movement. Hardly any force, more force. Hardly any force, more force. That's how I like it. Okay, so we've got no looseness in there at all. And more progression. With the, the kind of binary buttons, it's kind of the same thing. I know it sounds stupid, but this here, you kind of push it in and you push it out and it works it's fine and everything on the warthog but on the wing wing it has the same function but it's got a lovely spring feel to it and the harder it is to push in uh the, the, the deeper you go again that's what i prefer okay guys this is my second point um is why i'm going to do the wing wing over here over the warthog here is the function of it okay in the these are on the wing wing multi-function switches let me explain so four way four way four-way I'm pointing to there technically that's four-way as well actually there as well as that pushable all of these are pushable you can see them activating over there if you want to see okay and the cool thing is with the aid of this um, sim app pro that you get for free basically you can change these from binary what we call binary so up uh, up down left right binary is technically not the word, right word but you know what I mean just it's either up or down or left or right and push to uh, what we call analog or axis so this can actually become an axis so you can push it a little bit you can push it a lot you can push it loads and that for me was really really good that's what i want pretty the best thing i like about this completely configurable so that there gives me a lot more function on wing wing with the same amount of buttons and switches as on the waterhawk here which only has you know for this one up down left right and no push up down left right no push up down left right no push up down left right and a push a i'd say nicer buttons b why you can do more with them does that make sense guys and again uh, any pushback on the kind of these kind of top buttons on the wing wing stick that was it <laughs> if you want to i can do a sort of comparison between the buttons and switches on the wing wing 18 stick versus the thrustmaster f18 stick the thrustmaster f18 stick it's uh, the same what you'd expect it's a uh, one to one scale replica of the F18 stick. Nice stick. The only issue I've had with it, as I say, is uh, the buttons, the nose wheel steering and weapon release buttons, especially, are a bit spongy feeling before you feel the click. Whereas on the wind wing, it's a definite clicky. There's no sponginess. It's nice, crisp movement on those. In fact, on all the switches on there. Roger. Okay. And on that Thrustmaster F18 stick, can you change them, like I said, from binary? action buttons to axis action buttons no right so it's just something that these guys have done on wing wing to give you more function trigger uh trigger pull on the warthog i've never liked it i always found it spongy and the second detent at least for the you know one i've got here is all it's not non-existent but it's hard to feel i don't know if you guys agree with that there's almost no the second detent there's almost no click to it whereas completely different wing wing is no sponginess to it but also if you try and watch my finger there there's a massive click on the second detent so watch this click you see that click very clear when you're getting that or not now i don't know whether how much you know that's going to affect you or not but that's one reason i really like that wing wing whereas thrustmaster push down you can hear when the second detent comes in but you can't feel it for me that's a major difference Otherwise, in terms of your latch, to be honest, not much difference. And you've got a button there that's uh, not much difference there. Okay, guys. Well, I think we've done a pretty good 
comparison then. We've gone into as much detail as we dare without literally analyzing each separate button separately. So I'm pretty happy with that. So the next thing I want to do is an exercise, and this is completely you know, non-empirical and non-scientific, and it is a bit of fun, but it is interesting. I'd like us to punch into DCS, set our joysticks up as quickly as we can, sorry, set our Orions up as quickly as we can, and we're gonna go and try doing some air-to-air -air refueling. And this is, I have to warn you, not rehearse, and it may go completely wrong, in fact, it probably will do, uh, but it just gives us a chance to use them for the first time in DCS, because we only got these things today, and see how they feel. So stand by as we quickly uh, run in and set up. Welcome back, valued viewers. We're now in DCS. We've got my three lovely, uh, beautiful boys here. I have to have, disclaimer, this is not scripted. This is almost certainly going to go wrong, but it's going to be honest, guys, okay? Are you guys ready to boot? I am ready to explode. When I <laughs> <hand> <laughs> three, two, one, off we go. What could go wrong? Yeah, right. I'm oh, it's so weird. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it's just so weird getting used to after this one down here, which has got probably a foot and a half of travel <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting but th the throttle feels almost identical to Taurus it's just I've got less range on the stick so that feels weird because I'm used to going whoosh whoosh rather than it, it, it. so it's just a little bit getting used to it I've somehow got to go to here because I've moved everything about All right, who's going in first guys who's on right basket first guys uh, kill. <laughs> Chop, do you want to do that? Or do you want me to do that? I know you can. I forgot to bind my bloody air brake, guys. I'm overshooting. Right. I didn't think. I, th I think. What did I need? Stick, rudder, that's it. Apparently. Go, uh, sorry, did you agree who's going right? Oh, okay. Kelsey's on the right wing. Right. Got the basket coming out on the left, but this is a Hornet, not a Tomcat, so we're going to see how this goes. That's a you problem, Skill. Don't embarrass yourself in front of the valued interneters. I mean, a plane don't fly in controls I've literally just set up, so Same what could here. go wrong? Same here. Well, I do fly a bit. So I haven't got that excuse. It's simple. This thing flies itself because, uh, skill. That's getting, the problem. I'm just getting, let me do it. There you go. I'm getting used to it now, guys. It is really smooth, this dick, isn't it? Just like, it's just like it's Big Daddy. It's so smooth. Yeah, you only a little curve and you're good. Roger. Yeah, you probably will on. need curve. Uh, because it is, at the end of the day, a, a normal size HOTAS, and a normal size HOTAS, we usually recommend a curve uh, added within DCS. Give you a bit more detail around yeah, the centre. Yeah, the movement. Uh, the tanker wants to get away from it now. Yeah, I'm having a problem. I'm calling that it. it's I'm close enough. you got to be in line with its belly. You can't be on its side. That's a bogger chair problem. Really? The and also, have you done the initial call as well? Affirm. Chop this confirm you haven't done the initial call? I've done a call. Well, you've messed it up then. Break break it off. Because he's expecting you, not Kelso. I'm getting some fuel and the numbers are going up, so that's good. Well done. He's doing fine. Look, that is Skill, who doesn't drive Hornets. And it looks like we've made it up now, but Skill doesn't drive Hornets, driving with his fancy new Orion first time. No pressure. Don't worry, plenty of time for me to mess this up. No pressure. Uh... <laughs> Your check's in the post, okay. Skill. Your check's in the post. Can I change my first? Kel says, only first time as well! Now there's a lot of pressure, isn't there? Oh, God. If I mess this up, I will be the laughing stock of certain forums, guys. Is that what you want? Uh, it's okay with us. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was on brand. Mm, yes, it is literally on brand. Well, haven't you guys improved? Or haven't they good, got good chopsticks? Oh, good, yeah. I've got to check the weapon select master arm switches as well, don't I? Hmm. We don't worry about that. <laughs> right, I'll uh, call that a fuel. Well done. Yes, you chopsticks next. A slight bit of mus memory muscle problem here. For some reason, I can't get on the right of you. It's just because it sits differently. I know what it is. It's because I've got to stick on the right this time, right? And I'm used to it in the centre, so I'm constantly pulling left. That's so weird. Oh, how am I going to get used to that, guys? Just don't embarrass yourself in front of the masses. I better mess this up. Who's locked me up? I'll be, I'll be the Scott. Sorry, I'm uh, trying not to. Oh, I'm in dogfight mode or something. Wait a minute. Behave yourself, please, Skill. Bam, 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 do it, fly out of this plane. <laughs> the gun still works. I'm only a fly out of mm -hmm. Sweet. I'm done. Oh, nice. Right, I'm going to make my intent to refuel. 
and hopefully I'll be on the right wheel, shall we see. Guys, now you know me and I don't like making excuses, but I'm the only one here that's just literally moved from a massive stick to a little one. So that makes it hardest for me, right? Right? Uh, I usually do an extension as well, because cups or... Alright. Maybe not quite as big as yours. There you uh... go, it's not 35. <laughs> oh, now he's taking it It's not a scaffold pole. Okay, I've got clear contact. I'm left. I'm lefty Lucy Lou. For God's sake, Kale. <laughs> it's a you problem. I'm having it. Right, watch this value to you first time. First time. Zap, 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 zap. Watch this go wrong now. Pressure. Pressure. Get it right, yeah, Cap. I'm to say I've only right oh, field one. I can't do it now. It's so different. Should be one with the hornet like I am. I'm the, have yeah, a problem. I'm the left, left hornet. Hornet. Uh, I've got a little refill in F5. It's better if I do it on the ground. Don't lunge, cut the lunge! Oh, why? Oh, cut that out! <laughs> Let's just get back there. <laughs> Where is it? Skill, you want to take my right wing? Right, second go. Nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. It's a camera. It's just... Uh, just your first go, then cut. I'm going to tell, yes, it's definitely my first go. I'm going to tell you the excuse. Are you ready for the excuse? No. Yes, no you are. Excuses. As the valued viewer can see, my normal stick is between my legs. Yes, joke, insert joke here. And this one is to the right, and it means I'm always pulling to the left, because it's in a different place. No! I'm, <laughs> why? Nothing happened. Right, one with the basket, one with the basket, one with the basket, one with the basket. All you gotta do, just be one with the basket. No, not weird, some weird little pull up. Yes, I made it! As you me, I don't like, as you know, I don't like to celebrate or show off in any way, but suck that one. I'm gonna shut up for a little bit. Right, googly eyes on the tanker, googly eyes on the tanker. Where are my googly eyes? There they are. That's the APU ex exits, by the way. No, 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 there you are, aren't they? Well, I've got zero friction on mine. I just have a little bit of friction. I don't I don't like heavy friction, so... Yeah, I've got enough that it'll hold its own weight in whatever position we've in, but it takes no effort to move them. Yeah, that's, that's worth my set. Okay, guys, I'm going to back off now, because the viewers, I think, are probably incredibly bored of our dulcet tones. Right. Fish line right on skill. Yes, sir. Get those, uh, get those standard operating procedures right. So, guys... Oh, man, I'm pretty chuffed with that, actually. Uh, I know I'm the only one that took more than one attempt, but, you know, suck a lemon at the end of the day, I suppose. I hope everyone, uh, well, I hope you guys found that useful. I, I, I did our best to be as empirical as possible. I know it's, you can't be completely empirical, uh, but it's the best I can do. Anything you guys want to add before we sign off? Stop bagging on the uh, F-18. Stop ragging on the F-18. Okay, guys, yeah. we're going to finish in true Grim Reaper style. Stand by. I can literally only oh, apologise, Kelso. I can only apologise. <laughs> it was this new that stick. Was it was the new <laughs> stick. Alright, guys, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. See you later!